Okay, just give me a second here, guys. There we go. <laughs> okay. Don't know why that game kept crashing on me, but I will try to figure it out soon. So we're going to be playing this game. But, and I also have my moderator to update on Discord. <laughs> that the game crashed, I'm going to be switching to this game. So yeah. Going to load the game. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is good so that way people can um, support all the voice actors and the the girl who created this game, Michaela Laws. I freaking love her. She's so hilarious. <laughs> my life would my life would return to normal. Well, as normal as it could be. However, I was. However, I was smarter and wiser than before. I knew of things beyond humanity now. I had come to learn about the boys and about the existence of the supernatural. I wasn't blind to what was beyond human life. Learning of this made me more open-minded. I nodded to myself before heading into my room, closing the door, and men mental mentally allowing the reality of the situation to sink in. Tomorrow I had school, no devil to kidnap me, no incubi to wake up with. I went to bed that night accepting and not regretting anything. Or so I had hoped. <laughs> you are an interesting creature. Hi, Diana. And if I need to turn up the um their their voice acting, let me know if I have it accidentally too low. I opened my eyes to see a woman staring down at me with every with a blah 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> very sly smirk on her face. I opened my mouth to scream in fright, but a hand quickly covered my mouth. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. No screaming now. Too early, silly girl. I can only stare up at the woman above me. I still felt felt weak, not having the strength to move and fight her off. She was very beautiful, but I had felt more anger than amazement. Hmm. Why do the boys like you? You're unique. Hmm, why do the boys like all right, you? Alright, there we go. You're unique, yes. But that can't be all that you have going for you. Rage began to consume my core again. This woman, wh whoever she was, was making me mad. She must have known as she let another... Let... La la la. <laughs> Let another smirk grow onto her face. Ooh, you're feisty. That could be why. <laughs> Before I could bite her hand in anger, she removed her hand from my lips, standing up and staring down at me from her place next to my bed. I quickly sat up and glared daggers at the intruder. Who the hell are you? Why am I? Why are you? Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I can't speak English. Who the hell are you? Why are you in my room? The woman began to laugh, making the rage inside me increase. I wanted to punch her, but I wanted for I waited for her answer. <laughs> How silly of me! I forgot that we demons are not well known of in your world. 
You can call me Diana, little human. Don't call me a little human. Diana, demon. You're a demon? I am, but I'm much more than just an average demon. What do you mean? Silly girl, I'm a succubus. A succubus. I stared at Diana in shock. A succubus? First incubi, now a succubus? Great, I have now met both genders of a sex demon. Diana crossed her arms under her bosom and looked at my body. Well, you are pretty. A goody little two-shoes, aren't you? <laughs> I moved out and stood from the bed split the still- <laughs> <laughs> I moved out and stood from the fr stood from the bed still glaring at Diana. Why are you here? Well, I came here to clean up what the boys clearly forgot to clean. Tch, men, so sloppy. Hmm. What do you mean by that? I mean erasing your memories, sweetie. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Jeez. This woman wasn't serious, was she? She comes into my room and spouts this. This was ridiculous. I began to walk towards my door, wanted to leave the room. The boys could get rid of her. I had no mind about dealing with with her myself. The boys are gone, sweetie. Yeah. I froze in place. What? They were gone already? No way. I turned to Diana, glaring hard at her as she kept a smirk at me. You're lying. Am I? If you want to go see for yourself, you can. But I promise you'll be wasting your time. I stared, trying to find any hint if she was lying. She had to be. The boys wouldn't just up and leave without resting first, right? Diana crossed her arms and waited for me to make a choice. I decided to <coughs> I decided to believe her for now. I'd find some hint of this in this conversation. What do you want? What do you mean take my me me memories? <laughs> well, we demons can't have just anyone knowing about us. You have to completely devote your soul to learning about us. And even then, it's not always guaranteed that you can be granted knowledge of us. Hmm. Oh, God, I can't stop burping. I'm sorry. <laughs> what makes me not deserve to know everything? I was attacked by devils. I found the boys in my house wounded and sheltered them. I think I deserve to remember those moments. Diana let out a laugh, running a hand through her hair before looking back to me amused. You were attacked by a gang and were almost killed. You found five homeless men and let them stay in your home. There's nothing special about either of these instances. Yes, there was. A human like you can't understand the rules. The boys themselves aren't even aware of the rules. They'll learn soon enough. Diana flipped her hair before looking at me with a stern look. Listen, sweetie. You're not going back to bed or leaving this house with those memories. I'm taking them from you one way or another. Oh. Uh, okay. I glared, sta standing my ground. You're not taking my memories. I'm not letting you take them. And what do you plan to do with them, huh? Tell the press? Gossip to your friends that demons exist? Confess to your parents that you had demon servants and were almost killed by a devil gang? God, Diana, I'm not stupid. <laughs> now she was making me mad. Did she seriously think I was this stupid? These memories were precious to me and I wasn't going to let her win over my mind. These memories are important to me. I know that other creatures exist. I know that magic exists. I'm more open-minded now. Open-minded? Or gullible. What did she mean by that? The point of being open-minded was to be open to all thoughts. How is that anything 
close to being gullible. There is nothing to learn from remembering the boys that won't bring trouble. I'm merely saving you from that. There are more than just demons who want to keep their existence a secret. I'm actually really excited because there's also an- Because I mentioned in my Discord that I was going to be playing some extra episodes after Seduce Me and Ultime, after playing all of their routes. So um, I'm really excited to see what Diana is- Because um, there's an extra episode about her. And I've been hearing that we get to learn more about her backstory and that. So I'm actually really excited to see what what her backstory is because I love Diana and all. There are many creatures in this world that don't want to be known of. And you remembering a small fragment is not acceptable to them without good reason. Diana smirked. If you would have kept the boys, or at least had one of them around, they'd be a little more lenient to listen to your pleas. However, you're about to go into tomorrow without any of them around. I couldn't believe my ears. There were more than just demons. Other fictional creatures existed. There were... There was a system. What? Diana sighed and snapped her fingers, lifting my body up from the ground with her magic. Oh, shoot. Look, I can kill you and no longer waste what little time I have, or I can erase your memories and go on with my life. I have more important things to do above arguing with you. <sighs> oh, dear God. <laughs> that sound effect, jeez. I looked down at the ground to see something that made every nerve in my body quickly quake in fear. On the ground was a large open mouth with sharp wet teeth leading to an empty black abyss. I could feel the heat from the mouth's breath pant against my floating body. Oh god. I looked at Diana who was looking at me with a stern and almost heartless gaze. Make a choice, sweetie. Give up your memories, or be a demon snack. I warn you, he's quite the biter. No kidding. I was panicking. I, I was about to die again. The boys weren't here to protect me. What was I going to do? Give up memories, fight, or make a... I'm going to make a deal with Diana. Then I remember demons had a conscience. They weren't heart blah, 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 blah. <laughs> They weren't heartless without reason. She could to be reasoned with. She seemed like a businesswoman. Wait What? You're wasting my time. Oh what? You're wasting my time. What about a deal, huh? Diana raised an eye. Well, I was afraid she wasn't one to listen. What if she was a ru as ruthless as I imagined her to be? I'm listening. Okay. Wait, really? Was she really running? Re <laughs> Why can't I talk today? Why can't I read words? Oh, God. <laughs> was she really willing to listen to me? She didn't drop me in the pit of death, but she didn't let me out of her spell. Now was now was a good time as any to try reason. <laughs> I can't stop burping, good God, I'm sorry. <laughs> These memories are precious to me, but they're not worth me losing my life. Of course. I mean, if I die, people will wonder and try to find explanations to why I died or where I disappeared to. Then just hand over your memories. What if I traded them to you instead? You seem like a reasonable businesswoman. A trade is better than forcing me to give in, right? Hmm. This was insane. I didn't even know she was willing to listen. She already had me hanging over a bit of death. The only thing I could hope for was her being forgiving enough to listen to reason. Well, speak your terms. What do you want in exchange? I let out a relief sigh. She was willing to listen further. 
Well, what can you give me in return for them? I'm a demon. I can give you anything within reason. Money, men, women, power. Name it. Just make it worth the price. Okay. She could really give me anything? My mind began to wonder what did I want? Power or her? So I'm originally going to be choosing her, but I'm curious because I know there's another secret ending. Another ending to this with the word power, so I'm going to quickly save this. And then after we do, we finish with Diana, we're going to go back and click power. And then we will go with uh, this save, which is where we meet the Incubi, the guys. So I saved it to this spot so we can see what it, what the ending is when we click on power. So let's click her. I heard Diana stiffle, stiff, stiff. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I heard. Diana laugh. Me? Are you serious? What do you mean, me? I looked at Diana again. She was indeed scary, but she... Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> but she was gorgeous, and somehow she interested me. More so, than, more so than the boys. I mean, you stayed with me for a little while. I, I want to get to know you, and these... Rules you're talking about. A human wanting to know more about a demon than the rules. You're really trying to step over your place. Especially if you'll be losing those memories in the end. I'm serious. I'll give you my memories and energy if you stay just a, just for a couple of days. A day, even. It'll be worth it. Completely willingly? Completely willingly. And if you don't fulfill your end of the bargain? Then you could feed me to your pit beast. Did that really slip out of my mouth? Was I really wanting to put my life back on the line again? If it meant keeping my memories for a little longer, then yes. Diana looked to me, scanning my body with her eyes for any signs of false intent. I didn't have any, so Diana sighed and snapped her fingers again. The demon below me vanished and I was slowly lowered to the ground. I looked at Diana in surprise. You are very lucky. Demon magic is so finicky. What do you mean? Why do you think demons make deals with humans like you? Um, I wasn't sure demons were still new to me. I had heard stories of people making deals with demons and only ruin coming from it. Diana sighed. It's one thing to take your memories or your energy. It's another for you to willingly give it. We get more for our effort if the one we make a deal with is willing. Hmm. Think of it like sex. If I'm aroused and you're willing to open your legs for me, I'll get pleasure. I'll enjoy it. You might enjoy it. And it's done. But if you aren't willing and I force myself on you anyway, it's not so pleasurable for me. Even if I get what I want, it won't be as worth the effort. Hmm. Strangely, that made sense. It was very much like a business. If I had what I what they want, they could negotiate for it, or they could take it away anyway, but not without a fight. Were they all really business-oriented? My curiosity about demons grew, and I realized what deal I had made. So you'll stay for a couple of days? A day is enough. Yeah, sure, fine. Yeah, sure, fine. Yes. Yes. Okay, why are you talking back like that, Diana? <laughs> Diana looked at me up and down once again. I felt a little naked. <laughs> naked. It all of a sudden under her gaze, but I ignored it as she shrugged. All right. All right, then. Diana kept her eyes on me, unsure what was going on from the look of her, from so, the look on her face. What do you want to know? You're obviously curious about demons enough to make a deal with me. 
my first thought shot to her, but then I remembered the the boys not all of my questions were answered and I wanted to know everything. First of all, who exactly are you? Diana chuckled before crossing her arms. You may refer to me as simply Diana. As I said before, I'm a succubus, and I intend to bring the boys back home. Back home? What do you mean, back to the demon world? Precisely. They don't belong here, and it's imperative that they return. Hmm. Why? Did they not tell you? They're runaway royals. I couldn't believe my ears. What? They were royalty? Why would they run away from royalty? Diana simply smirked at my new surprised face. Ah, so they didn't tell you. How unfortunate. You were in the presence of a demon prince and his noble brothers and you didn't even know. Hmm. I felt myself unconsciously walk over and sit on my sit on my bed. They hid something gigantic for me why did they not trust me then again it had only been a couple of days yet they helped me and were here for me regardless acting like servants instead of noblemen i gripped my head in frustration what am i supposed to believe believe whatever you wish the confusion will fade away soon enough regardless I looked to Diana, who only gave me an almost somber, som somber, oh god, words, look in return. She was serious about removing my memories, but she would keep her end of the bargain until I learned all I could. That, and I felt thrilled to have her. Maybe it was because she was a succubus? I didn't know. I sighed and faced Diana. So how did you get to the human world? How did the boys get here? With the help of a human, in both of our cases. There's truly no need for details beyond that. Any human can cast a demon summoning spell. Hmm. It's just a matter of what happens during the summoning and after where things get tricky. What do you mean? Well, if a human is willing, only part of their life force is taken from them. And they are given one chance to open a bridge between our worlds to allow the demon they desire to come through. The more demons come through, the more life force the spell takes. Hmm. Luckily for the poor human that brought them here, the boy sacrificed some Her of their own powers to open the bridge instead of letting the spell feed solely on the human. The human lived, and the boys came through. Hmm. And did you do the same thing, Diana? That almost made sense. Something in my mind clicked, but I couldn't cleared out to figure out what it was i only nodded to diana and you were the same somewhat however i don't care to go into details about how i came here you'll forget soon enough fair that's not part of the deal you wish to have me around for more information i get to decide what information to give that's fair i say that's fair Cheater. It's not cheating if it's not a broken rule. <laughs> I huffed and crossed my arms and legs. Diana was a game player and I didn't like her rules. However, they were the rules I had to accept in order to keep my memories a little while longer. I'd find a way to remember she wasn't going to win. Diana let out a small chuckle and ran a hand through her hair. Well, I believe I should head to bed. If I'm to stay here, then I need some form of sleep. Okay. I watched as Diana crossed through my room to the door and opened it. She turned to me with a small wink. Have a good night. See you in the morning. Later, Diana. Before I could respond, she exited my room and closed the door behind her. I stared. It was like she was going... She was... Ah, uh, la la. It was like she was in control. I almost grunted my teeth at that at the thought she wasn't the master of the house. I was. I huffed and crawled crawled back under the covers. How did my life get so complicated? What was going on with me? I must have had serious bad luck. 
I sighed and covered myself with the blankets wanting tonight to end. I needed tomorrow to come. School would take my mind off of things. <coughs> Excuse me. If school actually happened anyway. I woke up that morning minutes before my alarm, which I've done more times than I can count. <laughs> I felt slightly... I can't pronounce that word. But I didn't... Ex exactly feel bad it was more of a physical exhaustion with a mind ready to take on the day i stretched and quickly changed into my clothes before heading downstairs with my bag as i reached the lobby i stopped and sniffed a sudden new smell in the air breakfast hey diana i continued my way to the dining room to see diana lady like like blah blah laid out a plate covered with sliced fruit on the table. There were delicious smelling eggs, toast, bacon, ham, veggies, and juice. I felt my mouth salivate. But then I remembered that it was Diana serving breakfast and I shook my head. What are you doing? Ah, you're up. Come. Breakfast. I didn't know what you liked, so I made everything I knew humans ate for this time of day. I walked over and scanned the table for a giggling. Diana raised an eyebrow at me. And what is so funny? You didn't make everything breakfast related. You forgot a couple things. Like what? Coffee, pancakes, and waffles. Diana looked almost insulted before looking to the table and recounting the place. I laughed harder, making her glare. I haven't been in the human world long enough to know everything. All right, over. that's fair. That's Unlike fair. The boys, I know little to nothing about what you humans eat in your homes. That's fair. At the mention of the boys, I suddenly remembered them. They treated me like part of their family, caring for me and making sure I was okay beyond anything else. They were servants to me, and I let them go. I let out a sigh at the memory. Little did I know that Diana stared at me the entire time. I shook my head and looked at the table, getting an empty plate and filling it with what I wanted before sitting and eating. Diana remained standing watching me. I felt almost naked under her gaze, so I looked over, pausing my eating. Aren't you going to eat? I already ate. What'd you eat? You really wish to know. Yes. I wanted to know more about demons. I wanted to know more about her. Of course I said yes. Diana stared in surprise, in surprise at me before smirking a bit and reaching it to her, into her cleavage. I watched as she pulled out a small purple vial. She popped the cork and poured <clears throat> a mere couple sipfuls into her palm before we recorked the the vial and placed it back in her dress. Diana closed her eyes and closed her hand. What was she doing? This was odd to watch. Yet at the same time, I was practically at the edge of my seat in curiosity. What was she going to do? Her hand started to open almost like a blossoming flower and revealed a small peach-sized fruit. It was purple and had almost an enchanting smell to to it that made my food seem almost disgusting. A plant from the abyssal plains. Oh. We call it a sweet flower. Would you like to try it? Yes. I nodded, staring at the fruit that looked absolutely glorious and de delicate. I can't. God, words, I can't. <laughs> Delict I can't say that word. I couldn't resist grabbing on to the chance to try it. Diana nodded before cup cupping the fruit in both hands and pulling the pu purple flesh from the fruit, revealing a juicy blackish center as if it was cut on the inside. Diana pulled out a perfect slice and handed it to me. I must say, you may be the first human to try this fruit. You should consider yourself lucky. Aww. I nodded, not pulling my eyes away from the fruit slice in my hand. It was juicy, and it, and its clear juice painted over my fingers. I somehow didn't care. I wanted to try it and savor it. 
I lifted a small slice to my lips and took a small bite, feeling as ecstatic. I can't pronounce words. Run through my mouth. I almost couldn't fight back the the moan that was erupting from my throat. It was sweet, yet it was slightly tart. It was the perfect combination, combination, and at the same time, it felt so unnatural. I felt not only pleasure in my mouth, but my body began to feel energized and warm. All of that was from a small bite. I swallowed the the bite full and let a pleasurable sigh, making Diana smirk slightly at me with a raised eyebrow. I couldn't lie to her about how it tasted. It's delicious. That it is. They're natively grown in my kingdom, so I have the pleasure of enjoying these every day. Interesting. You have a kingdom. I do. The boys are not the only royals in the demon world, sweetie. I just so happen to be a princess. I stared in surprise. She was really a princess. How she looked so mature. She was more of a queen than a princess. I, I agree with that. <laughs> really, you're a princess. You seem more like a queen. <laughs> For a split second, I swore I saw Diana. Diana blush, but as. She started to laugh. I shook my head of the thought. You flatter me, little girl. You best be careful. I may just take your flattery as an invitation to take your energy. <laughs> I shut my mouth, feeling the blush run across my own, my own cheeks. I returned to eating the fruit, hearing her chuckle, and eat the rem remainder of the fruit on her own. Surprisingly, I felt full just. From that small slice, how could that be? The only explanation I had was that it was a demon fruit, so I mentally accepted it as just that. What I didn't didn't expect was Diana leaning over and lifting my chin to look down at me. Messy, aren't you? <laughs> I stared as Diana came closer and gently kissed my cheek of the by the corner of my lip, making me gasp slightly. What was she doing? Why was she kissing my cheek? I was red in the face already, and here she was taking advantage. Diana pulled away and slightly licked and popped her lips. What? You had a little juice on the side of your lip. It was ah. bothering me. <laughs> I ran my fingers over where she kissed me and felt my red face grow even hotter. Diana chuckled slightly at the sight, making me almost glare at her. I didn't know if she was flirting with me or trying to embarrass me. Either way, she was winning. Eventually, my alarm started going off, reminding me to be ready for Naomi and Suzu. Right, school was a thing. I stood for my chair and grabbed my bag, walking out the dining room. And where are you going, might I ask? I have to go to school. Ah, I see. I looked at Diana, feeling that she was up to set the blah, blah. feeling that she was up to something. She had her arms crossed, looking to me as if I owed her something. No, oh. what? Well, I don't exactly want you to leave this house with the memories you have. I'd be breaking the rules if I allowed that. But we had a deal. You. Stay for a day. I keep my memories until you leave. I still have to go to school, though. Then skip school and stay home. What? That, or I go with you. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Diana was crazy to suggest going to my school, practically signing a death wish. Everyone would ask about her. What would I s tell everyone? That's crazy I can't talk. Let you leave this house with those memories unless I'm with you. Rules are rules. What rules? The rules of the world, sweetie. Rules of the world. What was she talking the about? The rules applies to any magical being that lives in the human world. They were established on a day you humans might know as the birth date of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Wait. So does that mean Christianity? Christian? Christ? 
Guy can't pronounce that word in legitimate? It's a story to some, a religious faith to others. I won't deny or prove a religion exists because that's a human matter. Magical beings, on the other hand, don't pay attention unless they're angels from the world of heaven. My curiosity was pecking at me. Pecking at my mind like a frantic bird, I wanted to know more. Diana was giving me answers and I wanted to ask more questions. However, I had to go to school. I was conflicted. Stay, and I'll tell you more of these rules. And if I go? Then I take your memories. Now. Hang on. There we go. I was trapped. There was no way I could bring Diana with me without some repercussion if she took my memories now, then I'd go to school without remembering anything. However, if I stayed, I could learn, learn more, but I'd miss school. I'll stay. I bit my lip. Did I really want to stay? I could feel my fingers run over my, my phone and call up Naomi. Without even listening to the phone, I spoke into it. Hey, girls, I'm not really... F I'm really... F blah, 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 blah. I'm feeling really sick. Don't worry about coming or don't come over and don't come over. I'm staying home and getting better. I hung up without even acknowledging Naomi or Susie on the other end. Diana crossed her arms and waited for me to turn to her fully. I threw my back to the side and looked to Diana ready to learn more. You're going to tell me everything. I'll do the best I can. I walked up the stairs with Diana behind me. I glanced into the dining room to see it already clean. I guess Diana used magic to clean up after us? I continued to wound up walking into my bedroom. I sat on the bed and Diana stood by the balcony window. It was just like last night. So can I can ask anything and you'll answer, right? I'll give you the best answers I can give. All right. Knowing Diana, it could have been a white lie. She already had hidden some details, but I guess she had her reasons. However, I would need to know more than just details. The rules of the world, what are they? They are the heart and soul of the human world, created and approved by all five worlds on the human date, December 25th. Five worlds? In human terms, there is the human world. Heaven, Purgatory, Hell, and the Abyss. Hmm. What are the rules in this agreement? These rules dictate the behavior of otherworldly creatures in the human world. Without them, there would be constant war between angels and devils, while the vampires would try and enslave humanity. Hmm. Demons are merely the Watchers, but often the devils or vampires will try and coax them into joining them. I forgot to update the game. I was playing the Twitch. I thought I updated it. Oopsie! So I just updated it. Whoopsie daisy! <laughs> I kind of got distracted that my other game crashed on me and I just remembered it now. Good job. Good job, me. <laughs> like I said before, my brain isn't working tonight. <laughs> All right. So angels and vampires exist too? Yes. Angels are from heaven, watching over the human world with a careful eye. Vampires are from the human world, but pass on to purgatory before rebirth. I stared at my lap. This was all amazing, yet this wasn't satisfying my curiosity. Did I want to know more? Did I want to know just about demons? This was all a huge deal, and I felt... Both over and underwhelmed. <laughs> Excuse me. So these rules have rules over humans. Humans can't know about magic at all? Correct. Humans, to the angels, need to remain pure and innocent. So they dictated that humans cannot know of the other worlds or of other beings. The rest of us agreed. 
Only a select few are allowed to know the truth about us. Okay. But that's hardly fair, isn't it? Well, take a look at yourself. You're barely proficient with magic. Your kind is too focused on who will fight the next war, who will screw the next person. Hmm. I'm sorry to admit this, but humans are the weakest race in the planes of existence. The only ones who truly protect you are angels. I felt angry that she made humans sound inferior. Yeah, we had our faults, but it wasn't like any of the other races were better, right? There was no way humans were the inferior race. Well, we're not inferior. Oh, you're not now. Really. Diana stared at me, looking me up and down before smirking a bit. Let's go on a little trip, shall we? Oh, dear God, where are we going? I raised my eyebrow. Was what was she on about? First, we went. First, she wanted me to stay here. Now she wanted to go out. What was with this girl? It's Diana. What do you expect, Mika? I swear. Before I could protest, the world began to spin around me, forcing me to jump up and grab onto Diana. She held as she blah, 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 blah. she held me as as the room spun practically out of control. Her my fear es escalated, and I buried my face in her shoulder, wanting it to stop. If she was trying to prove a scary point, it was working. Where in the hell are we? I felt the world slow down around me and soon come to a halt. I didn't want to look, but gently Diana pushed me away from her body for me to look around. I gasped when I realized that I was in the business office. What What is going on? Where are we? Just a simple business office. Nothing more. Okay. I looked around and felt an air of familiar, famil, familiarity. I can't, no, I don't know if I pronounced that right. I apologize. I couldn't figure out why, but my brain kept me aware that I knew this place somehow. Are we at Anderson's Toys Company or something? I didn't get to think on it long. Suddenly, a group of businessmen entered the, the room, stopping at the sight of Diana and me. What? Who are you two? <laughs> I froze. What was going to happen? We were going to be thrown out, get in trouble, and... I would never be allowed out again. This was a mild nightmare. Diana's giggle, st bleh. Diana's giggle stopped my thoughts. I looked up to see her smirking at the group of men, a hand held, a hand by her lips. Why do you not know who we are? For shame, for shame. Diana, what in the world are you up to, girl? It's like I love you, but what in the hell? Diana guided me to a chair and sat me down before sitting on the table. I practically turned red as Diana hiked her hike hike the but I can't pronounce words her dress where her entire legs slipped out from the slit. She crossed her legs and tossed her hair gently. We are your employers. This lovely lady is the CEO of the company. And I'm Diana, a girl. Secretary. You men, however, are late. I stared at Diana as she stared down at the group of of men like a tigress with her prey. <clears throat> Dang it! The group collectively began to shuffle, a nervousness surprising me. Were they really believing her lie? How? Diana smiled and lifted her legs slightly, making the man lean in for a possible panty shot. I couldn't help but feel both stunned and slightly jealous. One of you needs to come over here and kiss my foot as an apology. Diana, why? And is she trying to make us jealous? Oh, God. What? I looked at Diana's foot, seeing it gently bob in slightly impatience. Was she seriously going to make one of them kiss her foot? 
They obviously couldn't be that enthralled, 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 I can't pronounce that word, with her enough to stoop so low. I let my thoughts become destroyed as I watched the man step out from the group nervously and get on his knees in front of Diana as he gently gripped her foot in his hands. I tensed and held my breath. No way. The men gently kissed over Diana's foot, making almost a, I can't pronounce that word, well, almost a sigh escape her lips and send a shiver down my spine. Diana smirked and leaned back on her hands, looking down at the man before my her. ankle next. Diana, girl, <laughs> I can't, I can't with her. Like a... Like an obedient servant, the man traveled his kiss to her ankle as Diana let her head fall back with another sigh. Diana, what are you doing? Proving to you how weak the human mind is. Oh, God. <laughs> Diana raised a hand above her and snapped her fingers, causing a group of men that remained to straighten up like an army at tension. I felt myself tense and to catch... I catch my breath in response, but I couldn't feel any power over me. Water, a massage, another kiss. With each command, a man would separate from the group and fulfill it ob obediently. I watched as each man became practically a slave to her whim. Diana closed her eyes and let out a pleasure hum, pleasure hum, making my spine tingle again. For some reason, this irritated me beyond belief. Watching her be pampered by enthralled men made something crawl in my chest, something dark. I wanted it to stop. That's enough, Diana. Diana and the men, the men around her suddenly looked at me. Diana was a little surprised, but then, but then slightly smirk. Oh my, is someone a little jealous? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that. Just stop it. You've proved your point. Diana chuckled, making me wince. Would she stop? She wasn't obedient like the boy, so who would know with her? Diana then snapped her finger, surprising me and forcing the men around her to huddle together where they were previously. I have proven my point, haven't I? Oh, well. I guess I got a little carried away. No kidding. Diana ran the finger over her lower lip and giggled at my face, though. What? You're adorable when you're jealous. Oh my god. My face turned red instantly and I covered my cheeks glaring at Diana. She giggled again before snapping her fingers and making the room around us fade away into darkness. A mere breast later, we were back in my bed with both of us on my bed. Diana stretched her arms and smiled at me. So, now do you understand the vulnerability of humanity? <sighs> I gritted my teeth. Humans aren't as weak as she claimed. I couldn't believe it. Just because we were weak didn't mean that we couldn't know about those who were supposedly more powerful than us. I glared at Diana. That justifies ignorance. How does that justify ignorance? Ignorance is the only safety humans get to have. If humans were to know about us, do you know what kind of chaos would occur? Um. For once I felt scared. Diana's eyes were cold as ice as she stared into my soul, practically giving me the frightening feeling of the future. Try a question. There are already wars in the human world being fought amongst yourselves. Equality, dominance, power. The human world is practically the image of self-chaos. Innocent blood is spilt every day in your world. Mm. Doesn't matter the color or creed you carry. You think blood is spilt now? There will be much more if humans knew about otherworldly creatures. Our existences can destroy beliefs and human logic. I felt the world around me go dark, and I stared at Diana. Sounds of screaming and battle raged around me, but I kept my eyes to the one person I could see. Was this an illusion? Was this a trick? I 
It didn't feel like Religions it. Religions would crumble and civil wars would clash. Paranoia would be a constant in every human mind. And soon armies will rise up, trying to defend humanity without mm. true knowledge of who we are and what we can do. I don't know how to respond to this, but okay. Vampires would be forced to retaliate and build armies of their own. And trust me, they're not as friendly as the vampires in your human fictional drabble. Devils would have a heyday and wreak havoc, finally finding a collective weakness in the human world to exploit. Angels would have to come down and fight their devil rivals, and the human world would become their battlefield. I could see the world Diana just spread flash before my eyes. I could see humans screaming and fighting each other, trying to figure out who was, who is what and being frightful with every blink. I imagine devils like Malix ra ravaging, rav ravid ravaging cities and killing people while soldiers tried to fight back, failing and dying at every turn. The image was scary and I didn't want to imagine it. I shook my head, hold in it in both hands before looking to Diana. My room had returned with and Diana stared back at me. To my surprise she had a concerned face. The rules are to make sure that we all stay yeah. at peace. To have us all fighting at once would result in a massive cataclysm that would engulf everything and everyone, no matter what you were. Diana finally broke away from the gaze she held on me and stared at the far wall. I could see the, a look of fear rush through her eyes. She looked away from me. I almost felt sorry, but my confusion covered my concern. Demons already have enough on our collective plates. Diana! We don't need to become the backlash victims of broken ignorance. Diana! Something in Diana's eyes made my heart almost hurt, even though she was looking she wasn't looking at me. I could almost see all the emotions that ran in her mind just by observing her eyes. I felt bad, terrible even, for questioning her as I did. Oh, Diana. I was only human after all. However, I felt the need to comfort her. Something was going on and Diana was holding it back. Whether or not I learned, I learned more by comforting her almost didn't matter. I don't care. I'm gonna comfort her. I felt myself gently scoot closer to Diana before laying a hand on hers. Diana stared at me for a brief moment before shaking her head. Frankton, Frankton, Frank, uh, that, that. I can't say the word. Frantically. And shutting her eyes tightly, a soft sigh escaped her lips before she looked again at me with an almost new resolve. I'm fine. I was merely trying to prove my points. You're fine, Diana. The day then became, became filled with Diana teaching me about magic. Even when the day ended, I needed to learn more. I began to crave it. I begged Diana to stay despite knowing our deal. Diana, despite promising to only stay a day, agreed to stay longer to tell me more. Soon, days passed by filled with lessons and examples of magic. Knowing that I would... Be missed at school, Diana quickly took care of making sure I wasn't missed. Using a simple spell, as she called it, she created an illusion of me to go to go in my place. It was real to humans and acted just like me, but was like a ghost to demons. I kind of wished I would remember that spell. She told me of vampires, creatures that looked just like humans who had an inner here hierarchy there were four types of vampires but all of them were under oath by the rule of worlds not to hunt humans it was strange and it felt like a fictional novel but diana promised that vampires were not like the books they had adapted to living with humans creating for a formula that allowed them to walk around during the day they even had a blood bank that as currency and made synthetic blood to to quen quench, quench their thirst i can't pronounce words oh goodness gracious me 
They had real blood to drink, of course. They but they got it either through hospital blood drives or black market means. It was surreal. Devils were as chaotic as Malik's was, but they were still all under the command of the very powerful fallen angel and devil king Satan. He, however, still had the heart of an angel. He was simply sitting in hell and waiting for an opening into the human world. I hoped it would never come. Angels, on the other hand, were not as I expected. When I thought of angels, I imagined beautiful human-looking creatures with wings and halos. I still wonder who spread that rumor. <clears throat> Diane explained that they actually looked mon monstrous. Each art I can't pronounce that word, of angel looked different, but Diana couldn't describe them all. The one that stood out the most was the seraph seraphim. Seraphim? Whatever. She described it as a mysterious creature that hid behind three large pairs of wings. What if the seraph seraphim did look human? Well, anyone who has met a seraphim and tried to seraphim. find out has not lived to spill the secret. Hmm. I gulped. It was scary to hear that for some reason. Angels were strict and were not as forgiving as many claimed. According to Diana, they had a love-hate relationship with humans, but they didn't try to dominate us. They only became mediators for the rule of the world. Why not? I'd rather not get into that. All right. Why? It's not my place to talk about heaven. Only the angels. <clears throat> she almost meant. She also mentioned their methods for memory re removals, removal as the self-proclaimed guardians of the hum of the humans. They had the right to baptize humans who held the held memories of otherworldly creatures should they find any in the human world. The baptism not only erased the memories of magic, but erased the entire memory clean. Humans wouldn't remember who they were or they knew, or who they knew. A blank canvas. Damn. Demons, however, unlike the others, were passive creatures that only that only truly cared for their own world. They had their own lands, kingdoms, and lords living there. The most powerful demon in the Abyssal Plains was the demon lord. He was the incubi boy's father, and he was a ruthless man. He had conquered several kingdoms with a massive, indestructible army. Many demons died under his brutality, but when he did con conquer, life for demons was like the human resonance. Many feared what land he would attack next. However, to everyone's surprise, the demon lord had tried to be peaceful with Diana's kingdom as she was offered as a bride to one of the sons. Why would you accept that? I had no choice. I was barely a child when the decision was made, and when I learned of it, hmm. I had accepted it. Why, though? How would you know if you would be in love with the guy you married? It didn't matter. My kingdom would be safe, and I would be able to live with knowing I was able to protect my kingdom. Hmm. I stared at Diana as she smiled at me with sad eyes. She really didn't want to marry them. It was practically painted all over her face. You shouldn't have to marry someone you, you don't love. Diana's face shifted to one of, one of surprise as she looked at looked to me. I was I was being honest, though. She shouldn't have to marry someone to protect the kingdom. 
It would be safe, yes, but you would be unhappy. Can you live with yourself knowing that? I'd rather be unhappy than see my kingdom burn to the ground. Besides, as the bride of the next demon lord, I'd have the ability to change things. I could disband his armies, bring peace to the abyssal plains. Hmm. But what about love? Love. Diana looked at her lap and sighed. Love can't exist for me. I'm the most powerful succubus in the demon world. Anyone who would go after me would only be entranced by my power. I'm not. Diana chuckled, making me blush a bit. I was being honest, and here she was laughing at my words. You're a human, dear. You can't know when I'm using my powers or not. I could be using them now, making you interested in me to trust me. But you're not, are you? Diana then silenced herself. She stared at me, knowing that her silence would give me my answer. I smirked at her. You like me. <laughs> what? <laughs> you like me. You definitely like me. I do not. I'm merely fulfilling my end of the deal. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Oh, Diana, you're adorable. I felt like a tease. She was being nice to me and wasn't using her powers over me because she liked me. It was too obvious. You like me. You like me. You like me. Oh, damn. That artwork, though. <laughs> what I didn't expect, expect was her taking my hand and forcing me closer to her. A mere inch separated our lips, but Diana's stare into Diana's stare into my soul made my mind go blank. I barely remembered what I was saying. Diana remained holding me. I didn't fight. I didn't fight. She stared into my soul and I allowed... The, uh, I think... Let me finish that. Okay, there we go. I was concerned and at the same time, I was intrigued. Diana was indeed a beautiful woman. Seeing her up close made my face turn slightly red in embarrassment that any moment she could lean in and kiss me, maybe even take my energy. However, she didn't. You are interesting. For a human. <laughs> she then released me and stared at me, watching as I stared back at her with a red face. Did I like her? I shook my head. No way. That was impossible. We were just in a business deal. Nothing more. Is there anything else you wanted to know? I stared at her as I thought. Was there anything else I wanted to know? My memories were four feet. I can't rem- I don't know if I pronounced that right, but that's okay. Forfeit, or whatever, in the end, so everything was up for grabs. Yeah, I couldn't think of a simple quest single question to ask. Was that all I wished to know? No, there was nothing else I- There was nothing else I needed to know. I felt satisfied. No, that should be all. I understand. Diana stood and adjusted- the bottom of her dress before smiling at me. I barely noticed how much time had passed between us. It felt like forever, yet I enjoyed learning more. I felt bad that I had to lose my memories. However, that was the deal. And according to Diana, demons never go back from their words. Well, if you don't mind, there's one place I need to visit, and I'd rather visit it now than after I take your memories. Okay. I'll be gone from the area for quite a while, anyway. Okay. Huh? Where, you, where do you need to go? The cemetery. There's something I need to do there. It's boring, sadly, but I need to do it. You need to come with so I can watch you. Okay. Why does she need to go to the cemetery? Did she have a human friend she needed to say goodbye to? Did she have to meet with another demon? Sure, let me- No need to get dressed up. It's just a brief visit. Okay. Diana snapped her fingers and the world melted into black. I stood and walked- to be beside Diana, unsure of what was happening. Why wasn't the world spinning instead? 
was the spinning a trick she did. I felt myself click my teeth in irritation of the thought of that blah, blah, blah. <laughs> of, of that thought. Soon the world grew back its color and we were standing in a field I somehow recognized. I looked down and regretted it. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Her grandfather grave. At our feet was my grandfather's gravestone. It was untouched and it was clean as I as when I last remembered seeing it. Why were we here? Here we are. Diana, why are we here? Here? I stared at Diana as she muttered small in case incantation under her breath in her hands form a small vase with purple lilacs. She gently knelt down and placed them beside the grave. I had to pay my respects to this man. What? Why? Were you a friend of his? <laughs> Can I stream this without burping? Oh god. <laughs> I needed to know. My mind began screaming. Something wasn't right. Why did she know him? How did she know he was dead? What was their relationship? What was going on? No, I wasn't a friend of his. I didn't even know him. Diana? Then why are you giving him flowers? <sighs> Diana, will you please tell me? My mind began to screech louder in my head. What was it? Why? Why? Diana, why are you giving him flowers? You don't need to know. I highly doubt you knew this man. Yes, I do! Diana stared wide-eyed at me. A mixture of fear and surprise mixed in her eyes. My heart began to squeeze tightly in my chest. Why was she looking at me like that? How do you know him? Answer my question. How... I said, answer my question. I couldn't hold in my voice. I needed to hear her answer and didn't want to hear anything else. Anything other than her answer would infuriate me. Diana looked down at the grave, letting out a small sigh. My heart tightened further. Answer me. I needed the answer. This man helped the boys come to the human world. Yeah. He opened a bridge and let them through, before sealing it with a part of his life force. Oh, okay. There was more. I knew there was more. I remained, as sil I remained silent as she took a breath. I had come to visit their castle one day, and when they told me that the boys were gone, I became frantic. Without the contract marriage, the demon lord would have had the freedom to march on my kingdom and conquer it. Mm. I couldn't let that happen. So I tried to find a way here. I searched the castle during my brief visit, trying to find out where the boys went. I found it. Okay. This man left behind a small trace of his spell, small oh. enough to be undetected by the inhabitants of the castle. And she's the reason that her grandfather died. Oh, God. I mean, she didn't know. So... Oh, kind of conflicted about blaming her or not, but I don't. Diana looked at me, a look of pain on her face that made my already pained heart feel like it was punctured by needles. Demon magic is best with consent, but takes more energy when forced. So, in a blind need, I recast the spell and used that man's life force to open the bridge once more and seal it completely when I walked through. Hmm. I didn't know I was taking the rest of his life. Oh god, Diana... She... By the time the bridge closed, the man had already passed. He was visiting someone in a nearby hospital, so when I left to find the boys, the staff had found him and tried to revive him. I didn't want to take his life. I thought he was a younger man. I didn't know he was as old as he was. I can't... Okay. I feel kind of conflicted about this. She... It's my fault this man is dead. But I needed to come to the human world, and he was my only chance to get close enough to track the boys down. You... Diana tensed up and stared at me. Her face was painted with regret and sadness. Something not like her unusual self. Something not like her usual self. 
You killed my grandfather. Your... your grandfather. I needed to leave. I needed to go. I quickly turned and ran, hearing Diana call out my name from behind. Wait. I ran. I didn't look back. I couldn't look back. She stared. She started all of this. She was the one who turned my world upside down. She was the reason for this chaos I was in. She took my grandfather away. I ran through the gates of the cemetery and through the streets to my house. This time the world was in slow motion and I was the one going in fast forward. I didn't care what was going on around me. I just needed to run. My heart began to freeze in my chest, pained by the feeling of needles and knives piercing through its heart. Blech. Tears were running down my face, but I, but I knew where I was running. I ran through the front gates of my house and sprinted inside. I zipped up the, up the stairs and ran into my room. As I slammed the door behind me, I began to weep violently. I leaned against the door and slid to the ground, crying. My world was crum crumbling, and I didn't like it. Damn. My world was broken apart, and I didn't want it. All I could do, though, was cry. My heart denied me from thinking about anything else. I cried. I continued to cry. I let my heart empty of its pain with each tear that ran down my cheeks. My, my scream echoed through the room, bouncing around and reverberating into my ears. I didn't care if it hurt to hear it. I didn't care about anything in me anymore. All I cared about was crying. I crawled into a ball and cried. I didn't even know when I passed out. I didn't remember closing my eyes and letting darkness take me. Oh, I, I feel kind of conflicted because it's like Diana really didn't know that it was her grandfather or how old he was so part of me does not want to blame her for this so oh god the darkness was comforting me I felt my sadness numb within it there was no reality in the, in that darkness to haunt me or hurt me I wanted to stay with within it forever However, my body forced me to open my eyes. I saw the room focus around me and I realized that I was staring at the ceiling. I was in bed under my covers. I sat up and looked around, stopping to see Diana leaning against the balcony window, looking away from me. Why was she here? Did she carry me to bed? I felt my anger wanting to speak out against Diana, but I noticed the puffiness around her visible eyes. Oh, Diana. Has she been crying? Seeing her bloodshot puffy eyes made me full aware of my own eyes and how dry they had become after crying. I rubbed my eyes and let out a shaky sigh. I'm sorry. Diana. I stared at Diana. My heart didn't want to hear it, but I let her speak. I didn't want to come here in the first place. I only thought of bringing the boys back to protect my kingdom, so everything uh, else became secondary. So I secondary. don't blame her. I didn't mean to take his life. Oh, God. Which is why I kind of feel conflicted about this. But you did. I did. I can't ask for forgiveness, but I still am sorry. Diana. If I could turn back time, I would find another way. I... You know, it's because of you that I met the boys. <sighs> I looked to my blanket-covered lap. I remembered the funeral, the moving, the meeting with the boys. Everything came at me at once, and now I had the one puzzle piece that fit it all together. If my grandfather hadn't died, he'd still be living here, living here, and he'd be the one taking care of the boys instead of me, but he died and gave me his estate, so I came and met them for the first time. I looked at Diana, seeing her sad face. I couldn't tell she I could tell she really regretted her choice and she was upset. I couldn't sense any deception in her. I guess I have to thank you for introducing me to them and to magic since my grandfather couldn't do it himself anyway. Diana looked down, pressing her lips together and closing her eyes. I... 
I need to take your memories now. Mm. A deal's a deal. I fulfilled my part and told you everything. I had nothing left to tell you, and you can't keep those memories. The way that her voice sounds, I wonder if she really doesn't want to do it. I didn't speak. I watched as Diana argued into the air and about taking my memories. It felt like she was now doubting the deal, not wanting to take away the truth from me. Oh, she doesn't want to do it. Did I want her to? This was my chance to return to ignorance. I'd never remembered that she took my grandfather's life. I'd never remember everything she showed me and taught me. I'd return to normalcy. Don't. Diana stared at me, a look of almost despair on her face. I, however, kept my eyes to her. You took away my grandfather. What gives you the right to take my memories away? But I... I'm not done speaking. Diana shut her mouth, listening obediently. I needed to speak my mind. She had no right to take anything away. I knew the truth now, and that was all that mattered to me. Screw the rules. I deserve to remember everything. I was thrown into this mess because of you. No one has the right to take anything away from me. Diana took a step forward. A step, a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> took a step towards me. And I was ready to snap at her. However, she gently leaned over to me and landed. A hand over my head. All right. What? I won't take your memories. I stared up at her in shock. Was she serious? Diana smiled at me and stood back. You're right. You deserve to know everything. It's the least I can do. I felt almost joyful. She agreed with me. This was a huge deal. <coughs> God. <laughs> I can't stop with me. God. I still didn't forget Diana, but it was better to know than to be left in ignorance. Eventually, it would be I would be able to move on. Until then, Diana was willing to stay and teach me the life my grandfather knew in redemption. It was something. Head back to sleep, and I'll teach you more in the morning. I'll stay a few more days until you know everything. Something fell off, but I nodded, feeling exhaustion drift over me again. Was it natural? I didn't know. My head began to spin and I needed more rest. Diana gently laid me back down and moved her hair moved hair from my face. Rest. As if from a spell, I closed my eyes and, and fell back into an unconscious darkness. My heart was healing and it was and it would take time to heal. Thankfully, I had time now to heal and grow stronger. Diana obeyed my world and wor world world <laughs> obeyed my world <laughs> obeyed my word and stayed with me. She owed me so much already and stayed with me for a good week. Within that time frame, she not only taught me everything she could, but she also assisted me in learning some of my own hidden magic. I could barely believe it. I had demon magic floating through my veins, and I could use it at any time. If I had learned about how to use my powers earlier, I would have been as strong as a demon. Diana ex explained that humans who learned of demon magic attract demon energy and have the potential to use some of it, just like demons, but their full power can only be unlocked in the demon world. Being that my grandfather spent almost his whole life learning about demon magic, his ef his energy carried through my father then to me. When my dad left, my grandfather, his energy diminished, but when I came to the home, mine began to grow. According to Diana, I shouldn't have as much energy as I have. I guess I was lucky. Everything was fascinating. I felt waves of excitement and energy run, th run through my body. I was aware of the energy I held and the magic around me. I could even sense Diana's energy as powerful as it was. One night, however, as I slept, Diana began to, to waver. What am I doing? 
Diana, you okay? I heard Diana's mother waking me from my sleep. I opened my eyes and peeked over my covers to see Diana looking out my window. She looked tired and restless. I need to get the boys and return home. My kingdom is in danger. <sighs> Maybe I should call an angel. My heart froze. She could call an call on an angel. It would be bad. It would baptize me and make me forget everything. I panicked, but I heard Diana sigh. But she, she makes sense. Why should I marry to protect my kingdom? I should be able to. Well, would I? Ugh. Me against the demon lord's entire army. I'm not that strong. I slowly sat up looking to Diana still. She seemed to only focus her attention out the window, unfazed by my rousing. She's strong, though. The magic in her veins would win me this war. Ugh, but I can't take her magic. I care well, for her Diana. too much. But she's just a human. I, but... Aww. Diana sighed and opened the window. I need to leave. I have to fight him on my own. I'll use the rest of my energy to get- She's strong, though. I need to leave. I have to fight him on my own. I'll use the rest of my energy to get back, and hopefully recover when I get there. I hope he hasn't already attacked, or is ready for me. Diana stepped out of the window and stood on the balcony. Was she really going to leave? What about me? Was she going to leave? What about teaching me everything? My curiosity was peaking again, and I needed her here. I don't know what drew over me, but I quickly rushed out of bed and ran to the balcony. Wait! Diana turned around and stared at me in surprise. However, she tied her hands into fists and turned back go around. Go back to bed. I need to go. But you- I need to go. I'll be back someday. But I need to protect my kingdom. Without the boys, he'll attack at any time. And I need to prepare myself instead of waste my time here. I couldn't believe it. She was really wanting to leave. I over overheard her. She wasn't confident about about winning. She probably couldn't if he was as powerful as she claimed. I'd never see her Take again. Take care of those memories while I'm gone. You need to keep them secret at all costs. If angels find you, they'll... Take me with you. I couldn't believe what came... Out of my mouth, Diana turned to me, also surprised at my what? words. I couldn't deny myself I needed to fulfill this curiosity, and if Diana was going, I was going with her. If I was with her, maybe she could win her fight and then come back to the human world with me. An adventure, my heart felt giddy for some reason at the thought. Take me with you, I overheard you, I have the power to help you win your war. I'll help you, and then you'll come back with me to teach me everything. But I don't deserve your help. I demand it as a deal, demon. Diana stared up, straightened up, staring at me in disbelief. I almost couldn't recognize my own voice. In redemption for my grandfather's life, you'll take, you will take me with you and teach me everything. I will then win your war, and in return, you will return with me to the human world to continue teaching me until I have learned everything. Diana stared. I couldn't tell what was going on in her mind. Was she angry, sad, surprised? Diana closed her eyes and smiled. I felt a wave of relief wash over me. A tongue of ice, even when faced with danger. <laughs> Diana then looked at me and held out her hand. Come then. Help me open a portal, and I'll take you with me. I nodded and placed my hand in Diana's. For some reason, it felt nice to touch her hand like this. She was going to take me on an adventure I would never forget. Oh, that is so cute. I love it. She then gently pulled me to her, and both of us began to float up towards the night sky. Diana embraced Embrace seemed safe, and I felt better being being in it than out of it. Sorry, Grandfather. Diana looked down at me and ran a hand over my cheek. You don't know how much this means to me. 
I nuzzled into Diana's hand and closed my eyes. Diana gently lowered her hands to my waist, staring down at me and as I opened my eyes. You intrigue me. Intrigue? <laughs> I giggled. Do you mean seduce me? Oh my god, Michaela, why? <laughs> why did you... <laughs> Diana chuckled and grinned at me. <laughs> <laughs> My god, Michaelis. Yeah. You seduce me. Do you have to write it in like that? <laughs> <laughs> I smiled before gently reaching up and kissing Diana softly. She stared surprised before closing her eyes and gently returning my kiss. There was no full of energy, nor warm, fuzzy, and... Thrillment. It was a simple kiss. It was the one kiss I felt was perfect to start my adventure with. The sky began to melt into darkness as Diana and I kissed each other. It wasn't heated or passionate, yet that kiss spoke many languages to me. Diana liked me and came to care just a little for me. Was this the start of something? Maybe it was too early to tell. Maybe we'd find romance in the demon world. Maybe not. Maybe. I still had a hundred battles to face, a thousand memories to make, a million stories to write. However, this was the change I needed in my life. And that was my happily ever after. My adventure, I. <laughs>